Hey everyone, Drew with GeoArm, and I am back to talk to you about the 2GIG GC2E and how to get the 2GIG-XCVR2 transceiver module installed into the 2GIG GC2E panel. Now the reason that you need this is, uh, most cases it's needed just for the, for the TS1 keypad so that it can be received in this panel. What I'm going to do here is I'm just going to show you guys how to put it in. It's pretty simple. This is the actual device itself. You can tell the difference because this one actually has an antenna while the one that comes with it does not. So what we'll do here is, actually we'll flip this over here like this. Pop the cover on the actual 2 gig like so. There's going to be two screws on the inside that you'll need to back out slightly in order to get this done. So go ahead and back those screws out like so. They are spring loaded so once you get them backed out enough they'll come loose and then you should be able to lift this device off by entering the screwdriver here and here and pulling towards you. Once you get that open, you just kind of pull the actual screen towards you, like so. Oops. <clears throat> there we go. All right, now, once inside, you're gonna see the actual transceiver module that comes with the device itself, and that's located here. Now, in order for you to use this device, you need to make sure that your 2 gig GC2 panel firmware is at at least 1.08 or 1.08 uh, yeah, is what they're wanting. So what we're gonna do, you need to make sure your panel's powered down completely. Mine is definitely powered down. I've unplugged the backup battery and I've unplugged my power supply. It's dead. What we're gonna do here is you're gonna find the current transceiver module, which is located here. And then you're just gonna kind of wiggle that off like so. It comes right off. You can see the little clamps and, and slots that it goes in. So we're gonna go ahead and put this one to the side because we're not gonna need that one. Now, to install this, you need to make sure that you get it lined up with all of the pin connections and you push it down for a solid connection. So once it's lined up on all of your pins and you're making sure that all of them are getting a connection, you simply just push it down and seat it into its spot. Then you check to make sure that all the connections have been made properly. So there's no pins being exposed here, as you can see, no pins. And there's no pins being exposed on this side. So we are good to go. We can get this thing powered back on. So at this point, we would hook our backup battery back up. We get it back on its back plate, like so. We put our screws back in place. Make sure you push down and get them locked back in. Okay. Once we have those put in place, all we need to do now is just put our cover back on like so. Get it clipped in place. All right. And then at this point, it would be ready for power. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is how you install the 2GIG XCVR2 transceiver module into the 2GIG GC2E panel. If you guys have any questions, any comments, or need some help with anything, leave us a comment below. Take care and have a great day. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube page and click the show more tab underneath the video where you can view valuable links pertaining to this product, similar how-to videos, and our low-cost, no-contract alarm monitoring services.